Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 61. Today, we're going to do some loading and unloading of scenes. And uh, the first thing that I want to test is I want to see if this active scene automatically changes when we load a new scene additively. Done loading main menu. Okay. So... Um, let's see. Unload scene <clears throat> async. So here we're unloading the scene, and then when we are done, <clears throat> well let's just try it this way first. Let's see if unload and then load work fine in that order. Unloading the last loaded scene is not supported. Okay. So let's not quite unload. Let's load this scene first. And then once this is done loading, we'll start to unload this one. And then after that, once that's done loading, we should be able to tell all, our, all of our game objects to do stuff, right? Hey! Nice! Okay! <clears throat> right, right, right. It's angry about cube managers. Sure, sure, sure. Cool. Okay. So... Oh wait, done loading. Do we get a done loading? That failed. So where is this coming from? We've got path nodes, random pool, cube controller. So let's take a look at path node here. My awake. Um, so we've got my awake. Maybe what we could do is change this to level begin.
And then we need something to call level begin. I could just do it here. Find objects of type path node. Is that not public? Really? Oh, begin level. You know, I'm going to have a world class. I think that's what I'm going to do. World component. And this is going to have a public initialize. And so here, ho! Thought that might be a problem. Sure, that's fine. Jung. Unloading scene, and then he never got a loading scene. And main camera doesn't know about what? What happens if I do camera stuff? Got nothing. Okay. So we made a little bit of progress. Um, our old world is deleted. But we never got this part here. Set active scene. Um, how are we going to get this scene back? No.
Allow scenes to be activated as soon as it's ready. Maybe there's some other way. Scene manager, scene count. Get all scenes. <clears throat> And this is the scene that we're looking for. Get scene by name, name. So we'll set this as the active scene. Done loading. Unload the menu or whatever. And then once we are here, we'll find our game object array, root objects. We'll get the active scene and get root. Oops. And let's see, we'll do the object index, list and root objects length. And let's do this. We will have a world component. C++. So I believe we need a way to run this first thing because we're still going to get all of our fails from our path nodes. That's the only thing it's angry about. Hey. Okay, so we still have some errors here. Our camera hasn't lerped to the right spot yet, but that is okay. One. And I believe that, where did I save that sublime text? Okay, creating scene, read me. And we want our camera controller to begin level.
see awake we begin level here too that's another problem it should never it shouldn't be on awake it should be when we tell it to do the thing World Okay, so let's do a little bit of a hack here. Oh my. So let's have a static variable to count all of our worlds, and if this is our very first world, we're just going to call initialize to call everything in awake. And our world um, probably should be unique as well. Um, and we need a core persistent objects as well instead of core level objects. Hmm. What? Why is everything upside down? <clears throat> oh, right. Everything's probably looking at the camera. <laughs> um, no, everything's upside down here, too. What? What? Do I need to rotate this 180 degrees on the... That's not going to look great.
<clears throat> oh boy. Uh, we'll worry about that later. I really don't care if it's upside down in this view. Really don't care at this point. So, why did that break? There should never be more than one random pool component. <clears throat> okay, so that's probably in random awake. And that's our cube controller. Okay. So we'll start with our random pool components. We'll do begin level. Um, let's tag this. I wonder if there's a maximum tag count. Cube controller. Okay. And this needs to be public. Interesting, I have this static count. Uh, but this is never going to, hold on a minute. I'm keeping, Maybe this is okay. Uh, let's see what happens. That's pretty weird. Do 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 do. Find one uh, or find only one of tag random pool. Okay, component random pool begin level. Cool. Nothing from our. Okay, awesome. Uh, can't find camera offset. Cube controller begin level. Cube controller awake. Okay.
Whoa, hey! Interesting. <laughs> you know, and it'll happen forever and ever. Silly mistakes. Nice. <clears throat> um, a little bit strange. Everything is gone. <sighs> Whoa, don't destroy on load. Oh, damn. That is not what we want in a don't just in a unique. Um, so our world is not persistent, but our core persistent objects is. Okay. No world. Found duplicate unique. Oh dear. Awake. Right. Find objects of type unique. Place path node with unique. Oh, here. There we go. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> In level, I thought I made you public. No, I just moved it to the public comment section. <clears throat> We're getting there. We are getting there, buddy. Oh my god, does this work? No, it doesn't work yet. That's okay. That is okay. Camera, controller. These should almost always be the same.
Okay. Just working our way through the error list now. Feeling more confident. Hey! Why are you still there? That's weird. I think we're around halfway done now, making some progress. So it should do the thing. There's one, two uniques, world, and Whoa. Yeah, core persistent. Cool. Um, and so now when we do this, should destroy and then stop. Whoa. Before then, a... Calculate cube rotate direction transform. Camera offset transform. And we need our targets. Okay, so this actually can. Oh dear. Yes, this can go here. So maybe that break was why the unique never got destroyed. No, still have another core persistent objects. These are the same. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's do the debug again. Um. <laughs> let's actually put the breakpoint at our transition here. Whoa. What? What? Huh. 
maybe maybe this is why I really don't understand huh this is really bizarre okay boom But we do seem to be loading and unloading levels, which is exciting stuff. Just gotta get all the wires connected correctly. Boop. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. And then we can boop. Cool. So this is our newly loaded scene, level 01. <laughs> oh boy, so using the mouse scroll wheel to scroll up or down in the IDE to see these, this stuff is actually scrolling our camera, which is breaking. Cool. So this is camera controller 212. Oh, here. And who's calling that function? One fourteen awake. No. Oh. So we're calling the ease function. Is that before? I just don't understand why. Let's see where this initializing new world comes in. Turn off collapse. Sure. I paused it. Unity, I paused it. Stop. Please stop. Oh, God, what are you doing? What the heck, fire? Okay, so go. So our level one world Was given a path node that has no tag. Begin level. Well, that would actually make sense if if we're never even getting to here, then we're never doing this.
Let's try something different. So this returns an async operation. Oh, geez. That can't be even at all. Oh my god, really? Oh god, that seems so bad. <laughs> um, let's just see what happens here. <laughs> oh my. This can't work. Just returning null when I have no idea what that unity action is supposed to be doing. Oh. Yeah, that was not great. Um, I wonder if we could just do an inline lambda what don't you like about this oh Get rid of that loop there. I don't know, this is brand new territory for me. A lot of this is brand new territory. <sighs> okay, okay. Initializing new world, we got it there. It destroyed both of our core persistent objects. So that's a problem. Okay, okay, this is what we can do. Um, we'll have a private dictionary of strings and game objects. And this is our unique key dictionary. So in the actual awake, oh, and this needs to be static. UKD equals null, UKD equals null. So there's our static dictionary, and then when we begin the level, we can say 
if ukd contains key unique id Hold on a moment. Find objects of type. Yeah, we can't call begin level on everything. This this was an awake, assuming that it was called once every time a new unique object was created. It's got to be a better way to do this, right? Hmm. <laughs> So in our world, initialize. Oh, geez. This just seems, oh, <laughs> sometimes thinking and typing at the same time or thinking and trying to type different things at the same time can be quite tricky. Oops. So let's see, we've got, our core persistent objects. And every scene has one. But the oldest one stays. Well, we could do that. Um, level is non persistent. So we don't even need unique on world. Actually, world is the right term here. It's just our core PO. I'll get rid of this silliness. Is persistent. This should be a debug log error. And let's have a float for creation time. And time.time .time is how long the game has been running for. <clears throat> it's 
persistence. So we're calling begin level on every unique. That seems foolish. My core thing tagged? No, I don't know if it really needs to be either. I'm doing this. What's the purpose of unique? Purpose of unique is to make sure that the older core persistent object gets destroyed. I mean, This is calling initialize <clears throat> on this world. Here's our root objects. What if we did this? And then we could also say Buddy, there we go. Right? <clears throat> so now this unique thing really isn't doing anything. Um, I'm okay with that. We destroyed both. Aha, because this never became don't destroy unload. Okay. Let's just do this. Change this to be a function or a script that says it's persistent.
Cool. Persistent. And then world, you are not persistent. Save the scene. Let's go back to our level one. This world is also not persistent. Now there's two. Ah, that moved it to the other scene, didn't it? It's all gerbit. Okay, so this is definitely a hack. I feel like we could do this a lot better, but for now, this is just going to be our persistent script that only affects one component. I'm not going to try and make a generalized component to say there should only be one of these this kind here. There's a couple things happening here, but this is looking pretty darn squirrely. I don't know if squirrely is a good thing. But it does seem with a couple couple errors, we got some start failures here, some angry random pools. Um, but... Hold on, let's see, where did, where did it start? Um, ooh, but this core persistent object... Cube manager cannot spawn with links. It cannot find start node. And it never found the cube cores. Okay. Well, we're making some progress. Uh, we still have that jump where it jumps directly to where it's supposed to be, but we can fix that with some lerping uh, that we've built into our awesome... Oh. Sweet Jesus. No, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be okay. <laughs> Oof, I was worried for a second there. Um, yeah, each world should have a in and an out version of our transition script. But I think that's it for me today. We did a little bit of work, broke a few more things, but that's always good. I will see you next time.